everyone and welcome back to another, and I mean another, Jurassic World Alive video. Even before I've had time to get my Giga out of the sanctuary, because I was stupid and I put it in there, we have more news because now the actual system for the battle pass is working. We are back because the battle pass is now a thing and we get to see just exactly you know, what it is, as well as new dinosaurs and just all that lovely jazz that comes with this game because there is, it's, I don't know, this is really good. I mean, maybe the game itself isn't in the best of states, arguably, debatably, but they're putting a lot of stuff in and, you know, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. So if we look around on the map at the moment, oh, that is an invisible apatosaur, apparently. Interesting. <laughs> there is a Lystrosaurus over there, but for whatever reason, I can't even look at it, which is interesting because uh, you've got one over here as well. Is that a glitch? No, there they go. So they look kind of exactly as they did in, was it Walking with Monsters? The one with monsters have some like this, or is it one with dinosaurs? Yeah, one with dinosaurs had the bigger versions. I can't remember what they were called. And unfortunately, that one's a bit too far away. But as you can see, we have 1,690 DNA in order to make it. But before we get into, you know, making the creatures and all that jazz, here is the Tyrant Pass. So... I probably could have waited till this clocked on to do the dailies, but uh, in la yesterday, but I still have today's dailies to clock on. So you need 16 in order to get to rank two. And I'm assuming that's gonna take us to these rewards, rank two, rank three, rank four, rank five. So if we have a look at the free one, now they did this in Jurassic World, the game, and it was way better, or at least, you know, unless you really needed it, it, it didn't feel necessary to pay for it. Um, because the stuff you got in it was kind of okay. It was The stuff you paid for was like, eh, maybe if you really want it. Whereas this time, right off the bat, if you don't get premium, you don't get T-Rex. <laughs> Just the fact that you can get Thordor in, you know, this premium is crazy. You know, a unique something you need to hybridize in order to, you know, unlock and stuff, you can just get. Uh, and then uh, Acrocanthosaurus, and then you get one of these, which is an incubator that allows you to possibly get Therizinosaurus or Dreadnoughtus, which these are the new dinosaurs. So you've got, yeah, because I don't think we have actually Therizinosaurus in the game. We have Urlicosaurus, uh, which is really interesting because it feels like with Jurassic World Alive, they spoke and had words with Universal because they never made a Giga and they never made Therizinosaurus. So that means in 2018, they knew what was going to happen in Dominion. They knew they were going to have a Therizinosaurus. They knew they were going to have Dreadnoughtus. But for whatever reason, in Jurassic World Evolution, they were like, eh, yeah, let's just make those. Another Rex. So you got 50 Rexy there, 50 Rexy there. So, so far, if you do the free one, up to about level 15, you're still getting the same amount of Rexy, which is really freaking good. And you get one more in premium at level 19. And then you get the E mode, which is a different one, I think. Yep. If you get premium, you get both. So, it pretty much, I don't, at least I think so. We'll find out because I'm gonna we're, we're gonna have to get premium guys, uh, unfortunately. So even if you do free, you get a hundred Rexy there. Uh, you get the conquest skin, um, but you miss out on the emperor skin, which is probably the best skin in the game at the moment. So now you have this, you have, you have premium, you can activate it, but there's more. The what? What the? F there's more, so you can upgrade your pass to get the premium pass experience, or you can pay double the money and you immediately receive data and claim even more bonus rewards with the grand premium pass. So I don't exactly know what it means you've received data. That's weird wording. But you also, I mean, if you look at the rewards, you're getting 300 Rex DNA. You're even getting 150 Mortem Rex right off the bat, I think. Maybe these are the rewards you get instantly, or at least extra ones you get. So there's like three of the like the new flyer emotes. I don't think any of them are really particularly that good in comparison to other ones. But I think maybe you get a 224 of the data, which is like the little SIM card. I could be wrong, but I think that's that's what you get. Really? There's only one way to find out, isn't there? So special offer. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> no, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, oh, no. Did we just get loads of... Did we get all of that stuff instantly? No, we should. 100,000 coin. Okay. Level 21 Rexy. Oh, I'll take it. Uh, Tarbo. Oh, that's what I wanted. And 150 Morton Rex, which I really don't need. 
<laughs> but okay. Uh, 224 of the sim card. Okay. So that takes us all the way to level 9. Oh, we don't get to see a little cool like... Straight through. Right. So... Wow. So we've got... Allosaur Gen 2. We've got 50 friggin' Rexy. Oh, yes! We're getting closer. We're getting closer. So you can choose when, when to accept these, which is quite interesting. Because if I've already got a rare incubator, I might... Oh, sense, sorry. If I get this, maybe it doesn't count towards it. So I might just want to set that off. Uh, so we've got a 50 Tyrannosaurus Rex. 200 Turbo. Okay. 166. I mean, that's more of a rare one. A thousand of that. Right, so 50 Thordor. I mean, maybe it'll get a hybrid. So that's not wasted DNA. The, the Rexy DNA also isn't wasted. The only one that might be is the Modern Rex. Because unless we do even a higher Apex. I mean, nothing's off the cards, right? <laughs> it could very well get that. An angry... I, I really need to find out what that thing's called again. 2000 Tarbo, which is, again, very much wasted. Alasaur, very much wasted. T-Rex Gen 2 is definitely not. Uh, the Acrocanthosaurus, I don't think he's either. Hey, I haven't maxed that guy out. We're... Ooh, now this... Is going to be an interesting one. A Dominion scent. That's where we can get the Therizinosaurus. We're guaranteed one, but not a Therizinosaurus. It could be something else. Um, another 50 Rexy DNA. <laughs> you know when I said the Rexy might be a pay to win? Well, it's kind of confirmed, but not really. Because you can get it in the free. The option is there. And then another Dominion scent. So before I get that, I just want to have a check. So I do have a rare scent there. Um, really the best thing to do for this, it's probably going to be one that you need to walk around for. So you're guaranteed one of the top, basically. So there's only really a 25% chance that I'm going to get something I want, like a Therizinosaurus or a Dreadnoughtus. The rest is going to be, you know, it's Quetzal. And then after that, we've got less than 1% for a Giga. Should we do it? Maybe we'll get lucky. Or maybe we'll get a Therizinosaurus. The only problem is, I am right on a sanctuary, and I've used my incubator before, and it's been in the sanctuary, and I haven't been able to get it. So, saying that, I bet I've jinxed it, but you know what? We'll do it anyway, because we're going to do a couple of things while we're here. So, we may as well set off a Dominion Set, and what is it, please? Oh, it's a Dreadnoughtus! Nice! Yes! I don't actually have this guy! Right, so let's see. Darting a Dreadnoughtus. Is it good or is it going to be an, uh, an arse? <laughs> okay, so far. Now, that's that's good. It's not a head or a... T oh, there's the head. Okay, that's not bad. Yes. I mean, I don't know what we're going to need for this guy. Uh, as far as, um, like, other hybrids. I'm assuming it'll probably get a hybrid. Most things get a hybrid. Especially something that's rare and has just came out. Chances are... Oh, just got that 10 at the end. 290, respectable. I think the most you can get is 390, so we're 100 off. But you know what? Another dinosaur friggin' unlocked. I'll take it. Sweet. We'll quickly just get more of this. You'll notice also I have 30,000 bucks. It's just the way the game is, isn't it? <laughs> Can't even deny it. Yes, this is how it be. This is how it be. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh, so we also co we'll collect some incubators as well, as well as the daily missions and just see. Because now, before it was, I, I think I've done weekly and I didn't get any things for the weekly. Oh, there was an Erlikosaurus. But now I think they've updated the rewards to show you what you actually get. Because before it was just blank and I was like, what's the point? <laughs> so we'll collect this as well because we've done this season. So we've got 3,800 Panda Bear DNA. Not that we really need it. Uh, so this is it. It is an Anurogonathus. Anurogonathus? Anurogonathus. So we've got it ready to collect. So we've got 11 of that, which I don't... Well, I mean, there it is with VIP. So, ooh, wow. Okay. That, right, we'll get another one. Sweet. And it's another 11. Is that going to show us? So we need a couple more in order to unlock the next one. I don't know what it is. Another 11. Sweet. This is great. I mean, it's missing a bit of a sound effect. And also, you get Giga in the freaking daily. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is so good. Uh, so we need to send emotes five times. 
and use 250 or more coins. That's it. So, Rexy, we can at least get to level 21. I'll see if I can get any speed boosts. Leave in the comments down below what's probably the best build for Rexy. Uh, so, 21. Now, this is where we're going over. Um, because if Rexy gets a hybrid, 20 may be the highest you'll need it. So, now I'm going towards, you know, the level 30. And all this DNA is technically wasted if this thing gets nerfed. Don't you love it? We do have another speed, actually, just to put on. We've just got over. So, we'll put 26 on it. Probably 30. Like, if I get it to 130, and that way I get 26 extra, putting it to 56 speed. Which is... It's very high tier. That's... I mean, if something outspeeds 156, you've put so many boosts into its speed, I'd imagine. So, I think at level 30, we'll do that. Maybe health might be good, because it's actually not got decent health. But I don't know, man. Just just get that attack up. That's what you want. You do the priority 1,700. <sighs> It's so good. Or you can do a revenge instant. Like, uh, remove shield, cleanse. And you cleanse vulnerable as well, which is, I mean, most things, I think, cleanse vulnerable. Before we go and see if we've got anything else, let's unlock Dread Nortus. So, it actually does have a hybrid. Oh, never mind. It, it already had one. I don't know if I unlocked that yet. Yes, look at you. So cute. So, you got 10% armor. Well, I think most Sorcos actually do, which is interesting. 5% crit, so not very good at that. This group decelerating, superiority, vulnerability. Normal, par for the course. Taunting shield, rampage. Pretty decent. And a swap in invincibility. Completely immune to stun and completely immune to a speed reduction. With a speed of 107, that's actually not too slow, if you think about it. Yeah, okay. Pretty decent. Now, are you ready to see the cutiest of cuties? It is the Lystrosaurus. That's the one. Look at them. So cute. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> I love they're like a flock. They're gorgeous. All right, so we got 10%. 125 speed is actually really quick. 10% <laughs> crit chance. Cunning strike. Evasive restore. Okay. So you... Give yourself health back and you... It's like sidestep, but has an extra uh, healing ability. Okay. Impact and run. Okay. Evasive heal. So when you switch out or switch in, I should say, you uh, you get an evasive and a heal. That's very good. Compi has that. Uh, low tide. Interesting. I thought this was just for flyers. And it is an Ankylosaur. Is it a Dominion Ankylosaur? No, of course it's not. Also got the hybrid that Lystrosaurus goes into, which is the Enosaurus, uh, which has already kind of uh, been a thing in game for a while um, and has been used in a lot of skill tournaments as well. So they just look like even smaller ones. Beautiful. So a little bit slower, I think, if not the same speed. Some armor for 10%. Cunning Strike, Evasive Restore, very good. Keep those ones. Uh, Resilient Rampage, very good for cleansing and going through uh, dodge and stuff. Um, and Stunning Impact and Run, highest damage. 75% uh, chance to stun and you get a swap. You swap... Oh, you do damage when you swap in. So you lose the ability to get health back, which I guess arguably... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess it's not so bad. It could it could be worse. I'd rather have the rally swap in and the attack damage. Very good. <laughs> but it's resistant to stun. It's okay. Its resistances aren't very good. Right, so let's have a look at our emotes because I've slowly... So there it is. Slowly been getting more of them. Wait, what's this? There's a selfie camera? I, I don't even remember seeing that. Oh my god. The, oh, there's a lot of new emotes. Jesus. Right, so we'll do this. Italy Day Strike. Uh, Ina Suchus Incubator. Uh, may as well. It's only one battle. We'll use our T-Rex. Heck yeah, we're going to use our T-Rex. Wow, we have to scroll down for the T-Rex. Oh, yes. But there it is, Rexy. And just in case things go south, Mortem Rex. I mean, Mortem Rex, I think I've, I've taken everything except for its speed boost off. I took all its attack off. And actually, speaking of, you know, boosts and such, we haven't really seen uh, any of the resets come since the first one, which is interesting. Unless it's once a month, which would kind of suck, because... Like, once a month? Really? 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> right, let's put in Rexy first. Yes! Level 21 and more speed! Um, I think we can kill him one hit. Yes, we can! Awesome! Bam! Right, now I want to do the Devour. Because I'll do... I mean, he's going to damage me, right? Yes. Yes! 
go do something. Oh, reduce damage. Okay. Fair enough. A revenge. Cool, cool, cool. Fears. It, it, it looks... It feels weird. I don't know what it is about that attack animation. Devour heal. <gasps> 130. Oh, wow. <laughs> is that it? Do we not get more? Uh, heal 0.6 of direct damage dealt over four turns. Oh, so now if I do loads of damage, then I... Ooh, interesting. So I'll get, what, 600 if that? 600 health of doing that one? Or is it less? Or not. Okay, cool. Oh, no, there it is. And it's still only 130. Okay. Okay. But, wow, wow, barely anything. And it can slowly regenerate. The T-Rex is just so freaking good, man. I love it. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to make Rexy good, fair play to you. I'm kind of happy that it's a legendary and not a unique, just because it's, you would take ages to get it if it was a unique. And I'm, God knows what you need to fuse for it. Unfortunately, no Dreadnought is there. And Ankylosaur, that's a bugger. Another, that's two raptors and two Ankylosaurs in a row. So we've got another Dominion Incubator, sweet. Uh, 150 T-Rex, which is kind of wasted because I've already got that thing to level 30. Having Rexy and T-Rex on a team. Oh, that would be sweet. <laughs> but I don't think T-Rex is really any good. I mean, if we wanted to, we could unlock, is it the next level for 200 bucks? So you could, you know, spend 2,000 bucks and get to level 20 if it is 200 each time and just i mean well what, whoa, we could if we wanted to actually just get emperor straight away if we want to that's another video <laughs> but i mean 200 but it's a bit much i think maybe hold on we'll do ah uh, do i do one no we're, we're like one mission away and I think we've actually already got one looking at this. Heck yeah, we do. Progress to you. <laughs> if I can even speak. 250 um, coins. Is that all it took? And send five emotes. So I think we've... Have we done another battle pass? Yes, we have. And a completely wasted Tarbosaur DNA. But 500 Albertosaur? It, it, it's, it's interesting because a lot of the time... What did I get? Oh, sweet. I got a Stegosaur. Nice. <laughs> brilliant a lot of the time uh when it comes to incubators and stuff the dna they give you for rares is very poor you might as well just dart a rare for the the dna that you get oh and an allosaur sweet oh while we're here we might as well look at giga during the day when it's in the sanctuary because when we did it it was last night and it was in the dark so it wasn't really the best of lighting and this game looks the best during the day right so we've got oh we do have a little listros oh i didn't even put mine in oh thanks mr day Oh, look at that. Okay, these may be their own unique animation. So let's have a, let's check out play. Oh, they are so adorable. <laughs> this one, like, I liked it. No one's like, attack. Oh, this is brilliant. I mean, we know what Interact is, but we'll do feed. What, what do they eat, actually? It's got to be leaves, right? Oh, is it going to drop it like a crane game? Oh, there's a dominant one in the middle. Oh, yeah, it is way bigger. Oh, and that's the thing when it comes to this. Ludi has to put in so much effort into animating all this. Because it's not just one, it's three. And then they've got to work off each other. So if there's something that looks amiss, it's very easy to pick up on it. Um, I kind of want to check out Dreadnoughtus. I feel like Dreadnoughtus is probably the same animation as... Um, uh, yeah, as uh, what you might call it. Um, Ardentus Maxima or, or even um, the Diplodocus hybrid. What is it? Gemini Titan, that's it. Um, and then Giga, we may as well see Giga, like, eat during the day. I don't get much DNA for it, but there it is. Oh, yes. And then, actually, once we do the daily mission of sending five emotes, we'll probably be able to level it up. Let's have a look how much we'll get. Oh, no. Well, we're close. We're close to getting it to a higher level. But, oh, can you actually find this guy in the wild would be the interesting thing. Does it tell you? If you click on it. No. We'll also put those two new emotes in. So whoever we face up against, you know, at least they're going to see something new and different to add to their collection. Right. Okay. So what I'll do now that we've, you know, we've gone a little bit further is I, oh, it's 300 bucks. So it does get more expensive the more you do it. I was wondering because if I could just blow through this for 200 bucks and get straight or oh, Emperor uh, Mortem Rex. <sighs> I might as well, but if, if, if it's going to be, like, to get to level 30, it's going to take, what, like, a thousand to two thousand bucks? Yeah, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. Good God, we're not doing that. 
Okay. Well, Dart and Gorgosaurus. Sorry, this chair is horrendous. <laughs> I think I've commented it, commented about it in other videos. Hold on. There we go. Cameras got us. Apparently wanted to focus on those two over there. I'm the star. Me. <laughs> we'll do this. And then when we come back, we'll see just what we get. I'd love to dart a Therizinosaurus and just have that unlocked. But like I said, the chances of getting it is, or even just the Therizinosaurus is like 12.5% chance. So it very low, very low. And maybe, maybe we'll get like a Dreadnoughtus. You know, 25% chance of getting... Oh, God. That's a Nozutoceratops. You know what? Fair enough. That's Dominion. I can understand getting a Nozutoceratops. I would have preferred a Giggy. Giggy would have been really good. I'd like to dart a Giggy. <laughs> and just see, like, what kind of um, uh, dart patterns it has. There's got to be a website. There probably is. There's probably, like, Game Press or something that shows you exactly where all of the spots are for the dinosaurs and difficulty i i could imagine them doing that if i if if all i did was cover jurassic world alive i'd do that i think for a while in my alliance i think it was probably like five weeks i did like a, a tally for all, like how many people got all of the um or certain achievements for the, the incubators that took so much time <laughs> I had to like screenshot every time and just get all the pictures in the end i just didn't have time but if i just did this i'd do that like take a picture and show where all the different markings were you know, difficulty and stuff like that i'd be all over it if I had time. So, without further ado, let's uh, see if we can get a battle with Rexy and maybe win? I mean, we won last time, but we didn't win with Rexy. It did, like, one damn, like, one bite, and that was it. <laughs> maybe two, I think, but it didn't do very well, if I remember right. Right, okay, come on. Fingers crossed. Give me Rexy. Please, give me Rexy. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Ooh, interesting team. Do I start with Rexy? I feel like I can't start with Rexy. We gotta bring it in. Hold on. Here we go. We gotta show them the emotes. I've gotta send five of them to do the dailies. And can we all just breathe a collective sigh of relief that we no longer... Oh, that's not very good. Uh, do you think he's... Okay, right. If he goes for resilient, what we'll do next turn is swap into Rev to make sure he does no damage. And then we'll just go for the superiority, like, uh, stun. Yes, great. That's good. That's good. Because next is coming a huge... Another tri... I never see Tricos. What is going to Did he get a boost or something? All right, so now he'll go for his biggest hit, which is going to do 4,764 damage. So we don't want any of that. So I think Ref has a swap into 100% nullified damage. I feel like most... Yeah, okay, so that's good. So he'll just go for his biggest hit here. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> a big brain play. Right. And we reduce his damage even more. Not that we really need to. And we'll just do this. So, fingers crossed we get the stun. Because he doesn't have any resistance to a stun. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, well, he's going to cleanse himself here. And do some damage. So, at least he's going to do some... Oh, he gets a crit as well. Well done. Well done. Um, I, and he's probably going to swap out next turn to make sure he survives. Uh, but th that dinosaur's basically dead. There's nothing it can do. He's got probably, like, swap in from Paratops, maybe? He could probably... Yeah, I was thinking he could go for invincibility. I was thinking that. But... <laughs> doesn't matter. Like, he's gonna do, like, very little damage anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's gonna make much of a difference. Most things, if they're gonna swap in and kill me... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. He could, have, he could have killed me. I don't know what... It, it, I mean, no. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Anyway, okay. So this thing is quicker. Um, so the best counter for a Testacorbinus is Ankyl Ankylosaur Lux. Or Indotaurus, I think. Possibly even Rexy. Maybe I should have swapped in Rexy. <laughs> Rexy needs to wait for the right moment to come in. So maybe we'll get the stun. Don't get the stun. Do get a shield. It'll probably try and slow me down. Oh! Didn't even go for the other one. Did it think... Should have went for more damage, I would have thought. You're just going to get hurt more. Oh! I maxed... I think I maxed the damage on this thing. Okay, so... No! It doesn't go for a dig in. That's interesting. So maybe this is Paratops. Because I think Paratops goes through invincibility. That's what annoyed me about it last time. Oh! An Alberto Spino! Interesting. Breaks my shield and delivers a bleed. But do I... Ooh. Ooh. Very interesting. I think I can get rid of it 
I think, possibly. And get rid of damage over time. Depends how much damage he does to me. I think it's probably going to be big. Yeah, it's about a third. Okay, so do I reduce damage? Damage over time? No, I don't. We could get this one. Uh, does he have a stun resistance? He doesn't. Okay, so sure. We, met, we might get him stunned here. You never know. We haven't killed him. Didn't get the crit and didn't get a stun. Sweet. <laughs> but if, if we do die here, which there's a very high chance of us dying. Yeah, defense sharing. Yeah, that's probably going to kill us. And then we're going to bleed out. Rex is going to come in. Oh, no, wait. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, I didn't want to win that way. Should we just pop in Rexy now? Should we? Yeah, go on, why not? We've got a revenge. Does it doesn't make a difference? I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I got to kind of saw Lux. That's actually not too much of a bad matchup. Uh, we'll send that one. Uh, we could revenge it. Uh, we're faster anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. May as well go for revenge. And oh, at level 21! Level 21, we do that much damage? We're probably dead, though. Uh, I think that's... Is it one and a half? It doesn't even matter. I think we're dead. Yeah, there goes Rexy. <laughs> well, have we possibly thrown the game? Maybe. Do I care? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I mean, we'll, we'll, I haven't got a stun yet. Ankylosaur Lux has no resistance to stun. Maybe we'll get a stun here. I don't know. Will we get the stun? That... Well, it's a draw. So, you know what? I'm happy with that. A draw, I'll take it. I think it's a draw. Unless he can cleanse himself. No, I think it's a draw. He's... Oh, no, he swaps out. <gasps> no, he won because he swapped out. Well played. Well played. Well, we, we used Rexy. And we lost because of it. <laughs> I think any other dinosaur I probably was in with a good chance of winning that. But yeah, I think I played it the best I could have. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. If you enjoyed this video, uh, well, of course, we'll make videos when we get the new skin or something else comes out. We unlock something cool. But uh, yeah, until next time, we're back with Jurassic World Alive. Are you excited? I am. I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye. <laughs>